Assalamualaikum guys. I am Umar and I will have some words with you about my spell checking program. Recently, our university gives us a task of creating a spell checker which will take a word spelling as an input and will check whether the word is correct or not. If the word is correctly spelled, it will show the message of correct or else it gives some suggestions of correct words. So let's think about it. How we will do this? Uh, in start, I was also in a great trouble about this program. Then I continued working on it. Let's start it. First of all, I have taken, I have created a database of, uh, you can see this here. I have created a database about, uh, of correct words. In this database, there are 160 words. They are correctly spelled. And I will use it uh, in my program. Also, I have used, created some more arrays of uh, correct words, but like this, you can see four words. Four words means uh, four letter words uh, as like in the same method, same way. I have also created for five words, for two words, for three words. I will use this in a program. Let's find out how I will do this. So you can see this database, uh, first of all I will take uh, as an input, a uh, number as an input, first of all I will take a word or you can say as a sentence as an input from my user, then I will, then I am using this split command, split command means uh, what will this split command do, this split command will uh, simply break my sentence in spaces you can see this space it will break my sentence in spaces then which means when will space will occur the space uh, the sentence you can say will break then i am using boolean unknown word uh, string unknown word null all these things i will use in my program first of all i am using I am having a loop, I am using a loop for loop and uh, in there is an inner loop which means database dot length. So what will these loops will do? Okay, let me tell you what will this loop will do. So as you can see this in this loop, I am using words dot length which means the word which I have taken from the input, the loop will run uh, for this words. The, which means that if there is only one word, the loop will run for only one time. Else, if there is a sentence which uh, will break because of this data dot split, and if there is a word or you can say so many words the loop will run for these kinds of words for these length of words like uh, if there is a sentence like uh, um, I am Omer so how many words there are there are four words so the loop will run for four words and there is an inner loop you can see database dot length in this loop the, the loop will run for database for correct words database every word which I have taken as an input the loop will check in this condition first of all in this condition if the database is equal to null that I have not taken any words as an input then it will give me a boolean false and I have created a condition here for my boolean false that if the boolean false the word will be correct or it will consider as a null word else if I if the word is wrong okay now let's see that if the word is long no wrong first of all you can see I am using to lowercase to lowercase to lowercase command will use uh, turn all the words as well uh, if I am using a capital word it will turn the capital word into a small word 
a small alphabet you can say um, because my old my whole database is in small letters now if the word is wrong that if this uh, my if i am using this word that if my program will not find uh, this word in this database in this database it will jump towards my condition here you can see my condition this is my condition here you can see here like this that if the word is equal uh, you can also see here about my this array this is also a correct word array but i am using this array for suggestions as like if my word is uh, wrong and it will jump towards this condition three words condition you can see here uh, it will use these words for suggestions but it needs some more work let's see if my words first character and uh, my word is considered as unknown word in this method as you can see i am using a string unknown word as a parameterized construct parameter in this method it will use as an unknown word and uh, if the first letter first alphabet of my unknown word is equal equal to this h or equal equal to this this is my whole condition you can see if the first word is equal equal to this if it is it will go towards another else it will go towards w or else towards h or else towards a in the same sense it will work for the second alphabet and in the same sense it will work for the third alphabet it will work throughout the program whether when the okay let i think i should give you an example of it okay let me run it okay now you can see it is asking for a word here yeah. mm, let's uh, type uh, some kind of uh, adult but you can see this adult is wrong okay oh it works adult is wrong but now you can see it is giving me about some suggestions that what i want to use here i can use a adult or else i can use adopt or else i can use admit or else i can use about also but i will go with adult and you can see suggestions are correct and the program is over now so how it is working it is working on this condition for if i will use three words it will go to in this condition if i use two words it will go towards the two words condition if i will go with four words it will go towards the four words condition and it if if i will go with five words it will go with the five words condition as you can see here in this condition i am mm, you can say i am comparing the alphabets with each other let uh, that if my wrong is Spelled word, words first alphabet is equal equal to the this array's first words alphabet. Like if A is equal equal to A, it will go towards the next. It will check that if my D is equal equal to B or not. So it is not. It will break this condition and will to go towards the bury. and will again check if a is equal equal to b or not so it is not it will again go towards the a in the same sense it will work 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 and at some time it will 
go towards uh, let me show you adult yeah you can see my in this condition uh, first of all it will check my alphabet a if a is equal equal to a yes it is then it will go towards d if d is equal equal to d or not yes it is then it will go towards u if u is equal equal to l or not no so it is not it will go towards again now it will check if the l is equal equal to u or not so not then it will go towards the t is equal equal to t or not so in then in this word it has got three same three similarities only there is one similarity left which is u or l so it gives us adult in the same sense it gives us adopt and uh, so two more i ad like admit and others so you can see this program will run, run like this we can make so many more changes in this program but for basics and for uh, sim main method or main you can say main idea of the program is this so i hope you have learned from my this program hope to see you soon guys thank you